First question is from the real Anthony G. What's the mind pump stance on two a days? Oh, love them if you do them right. So mm. two a days, it's uh, advanced. Yeah, two a days. Uh, basically, okay, so this is what it is. If you don't know what that is, basically you're working out twice a day. Okay. Now here's where I'd say our stance is not in support of two a days. Let's say you do your normal workout, which is let's say an hour long, and then you want to add another hour long workout later in the day. You're gonna overdo it. The two a days that I think are good is when you take your normal workout and divide it into two workouts. And studies actually support the mm. performance benefits from working out this way. There were studies done on cardio. There were studies that have been done on resistance training. I've tested this out myself. Of course, the the, the challenge is time. You know, I don't have necessarily yeah. easy for me to schedule two workouts in a day. But if you take your total workout. And you can break it up into two workouts. Most people will notice uh, some benefits. It's actually more ideal, and we would love it if you know people had that kind of time on their hands where they could devote uh, more of their day towards very specific types of exercises and movements that are going to benefit them. It's just the reality of that is really the schedule is the monster that usually is the you know the big deterrent for a lot of people to mm -hmm. stay consistent. So, if you have that kind of accessibility and availability, really you just have to figure out like what the right dose is intensity wise, volume wise, uh, for you to make that work. Uh, so you're not overdoing it would be the big challenge. Well, the way that you guys are explaining it right now is this is how I train right now because I have the gym now at my house and then we have here. So sometimes what will happen is like a morning I'll get busy doing stuff. We, I won't do a full workout in here. I'll go do two or three exercises. And then when I get home, I'll do two or three more yeah, exercises yeah. to finish my workout. I, lot, I love that. And I think there's tremendous benefit to that, especially after I've been sitting in the car for like an hour and then I, and I've been sitting down at a podcast before that. And then I go get another workout and move again. So I see tons of value there. Now we have a program maps PED, which is a, a double day hardcore program. Yeah. That type of training, uh, similar to how I got to uh, training when I was uh, competing, but that was towards the end of my competing career. I scaled That's at the very pinnacle of yes. your training. So we we have a program, but it was it was the last program that we did for a specific reason. It was that you should have gone through all the other maps programs before you dabble. Or there's no reason for somebody to go to double days like that, where there's that much volume in it unless you've already kind of scaled up to that. Otherwise, you're missing all the great benefits of doing a lot less volume and getting more results. Yeah, and I mean, for sports, uh, there was a way. I, I honestly liked using the, the double day uh, for getting in shape and conditioning. Um, that, I, that was very effective because I could split it up and it wasn't like uh, I would just fatigue myself to where I couldn't even walk. Like I would st cut, we'd cut it about halfway through, you know, get some food in us uh, and, and, and recoup and then come back and then attack it again, which actually, you know, we were able to adapt to, to uh, more endurance pretty quickly. Well, for sports, that makes sense. Yeah. Right. And to your point right there, you wanted to get adapted quickly so you could perform on the field. Like, exactly. That's different than somebody who's like chasing aesthetics that wants to actually mm -hmm. improve their fit. Like they want to build more muscle, burn more body fat, going from where you're probably current, current, currently at to a super double day type of training is more than you need. Yep, yep. Now to be fair, splitting up your workouts throughout the day, you do increase your body's capacity to handle some volume. It's not a huge, massive, crazy difference. But it does increase your body's capacity to handle more volume. Like I, I've done tests on myself where I'll do, you know, three sets of three exercises every other hour. So I'll start at like 8 a.m. and I'll stop at like 5 p.m. I keep the intensity very moderate, by the way, so it's not a high intensity workout. And at the end of that day, if I count the volume and the sets, like it's way more volume that I would be able to handle in one workout. But because I split it up throughout a bunch of mini workouts throughout the day, my body was able to handle it. I didn't overtrain and I felt okay. So there's some of that with these split type workouts as well. So if, you're, if your workout is taking you an hour and a half and you're like, you know, I want to add a little bit more volume, but I don't know if my body could handle it. You can definitely experiment with, you know, two 50 minute workouts rather than doing, you know, a two hour workout. Maybe try two one hour workouts and see how that feels. That's splitting it up where you allow, you can feed yourself, allow your body to recover a little bit and then go back to the gym. It might be it might be just what you need, but it requires a lot of time, a lot of dedication. Your life is revolves around working out when you do it that way. Let's be honest.